Welcome back to Factorio Story Missions. This is episode, I want to say 14. I'm going to give up on trying to figure out what episode it is. But anyway, we are back here at the base. And we're getting ready to um, create a biter, uh, a biter trap, I guess, is the best way to say it. Um, we're going to build some... Uh, first of all, we're going to get rid of some stuff in our inventory that we don't need. Uh, I don't know where my trash box is. I forgot where I put it. So we'll put one right here. So we don't need that or that. Uh, we will keep the solid fuel for our vehicles. And I don't need lights or that. that. Okay. That. that should do it. Okay, and the wood or the stone. Okay. I think that's good. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, well, yeah, we're going to make some more turret. Let's see, three. Oh, we'll make one more of those turrets. We have a bunch of laser turrets. Uh, we could make some regular turrets but we're not going to because we don't have to uh now i wonder i don't know why i made a flamethrower i'm not uh i think by kill uh 200 biters they don't mean me personally i think they just mean that i have to arrange for their demise so uh let me make another train engine Oh, that's unfortunate because all the engines are going that way. Yeah, I do need some engines for the train. I'm going to have to grab those off the line here. Grab them right here. I just need... Take the fuel out of here. Replace it with better fuel. And throw this stuff away into my chest. Okay, so the thing is, we are going to build, uh, let's see. A second train engine so that we can drive our train in both directions. And the idea was that we would take the train and build the track from the train. But since we don't have the engine, I guess we should take the engine. Either the engine or the car with us because it's going to be a long walk back if we don't. So we can just go ahead and take the Take the engine with us, I guess. What's in the car? Anything in the car? Just a bunch of junk. So we'll take the engine. I guess. And put the fuel back in it. Forwards. There we go. That's much quicker. Yeah. That was a good decision. Nothing worse than the long walks in Factorio. That should get us close to where we want to be. That was a mistake. There we go. There. Okay, this is a little bit tricky, but we should be able to navigate this. Okay, there. Oh, okay. 
I forgot about this. So we can actually we have power poles. Yep. So all we have to do is set up a little forward base right here that will be attractive to the biters. We can set up a little choke point here. The walls that we have on us like this. Yeah, they can, they want to come through the trees. I don't care. Let them try it. But for the most part, they should be attracted to our, our, uh, uh oh, hold myself in a little bit. For the most part, they should be attracted to us right here. So we will go ahead and string some power poles. We have power everywhere, so independent power stations. Uh, how do we get in there? Let's go ahead and set up. Oh, forest fire. Yes, we have an opportunity to really set the world on fire. We'll probably do that. Why not? Why wouldn't we, right? Have lasers. Eight lasers. Should be plenty. And we have flamethrowers. Oh, absolutely we do. So let's do... How are we going to do this? this? This should be good. Do one over here. Yeah, let's pipe that all in then. All right, there's a lot of trees in the way. I, I hate dealing with the trees. Let's do one of these. We might do a little bit of uh, of a fire break so that we don't burn our own base down, but I, actually I think we're pretty safe from forest fire. Yeah, I think we're safe enough. All right, so let's do this. Uh, that right there should do it like this. And here we go. Make this connection and oh, should probably check our power. Okay, yeah. Not using hardly any power. Uh, let's clear a path for our pipes here. And establish a fly. Uh, for the gas or the fuel. Ah, that's fine. Where's our gas yeah, fuel line? There it is. Right. And let's make this connection right here. And this last couple connections should be all it takes to get the biter or the yeah the biter the biter destroyer eight thousand set up. Now all we have to do is attract the biters to us by making some pollution. Uh, let's see, where's our pollution cloud? Oh, really far away. Okay, we need much more pollution to attract the biters to us. 
Oh, uh, what can we do right here that would be polluting? Uh, besides burn down the forest, which would kind of open open the door to more attacks. Uh, let's could. I know what we could do. Do this. I kind of wish I had those gates that I had earlier now. We are going to plan. Make a mess. Hey, there they are. I have. Oh, I used up all my flamethrower turrets. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, those are lasers. Okay, I have a bunch of lasers. I did use all my flame turrets. I can make two more. Let's just curious if a flame turret would reach that biter. It would actually, if I put it right here. Put it right here, it would. Now, do they spit that far? Yes. Ooh. Wow. Oh, they can reach all the way to there. Okay. So they're going to outrange my flame turrets, which is less than ideal. Uh, what is our best strategy here? Let's. All right, well, we're going to make a go at just getting rid of these two sentries. We're going to come at them one at a time so that we're not getting pounded as badly. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully... This will work. Oh, are we doing any damage? Yeah, we are. Okay, there. All right, so once we do this, then we can start attracting the regular biters. All right, here we go. Once we get this guy out, okay, now, So now we can either advance or just uh, get them to chase us. Let's get them to chase us. It's always more fun this way. Okay, let's uh, let's remove the pipes so that we don't have to keep replacing our pipes. That way, the flames. All right, how many was that? It's not counting. It doesn't seem to be counting. Uh, hopefully this this is what it wants us to do. Many are there in that group right there? Are you guys counting? How many are there? Somebody tell me how many how many there are in the comments if you would. Oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna count them by fifties, I guess. Oh yeah, they're starting to come now. Now, the only thing is I can't, uh, I can't get through there yet. And another thing is we could build a, a biter confuserizer tunnel. 
That would be a good thing to do, I think. Because the biters can't, they don't know how to deal with, um, uh, dragon teeth. So if we build dragon teeth here, that would probably be to our benefit because we can zip right through there and the biters will just get stuck. And while they're stuck, they will burn. And that is our goal. So this should be, this should make it more fun for us. We do something like this. All right, let's try that. See if we can get them to follow us again. I hope I didn't leave a straight through path. I don't think I did. Come on, biters. Oh yeah, that worked nicely. And the good thing is that the flames don't hurt the concrete walls. The spit does and the biters chew on them, but the flames don't hurt them. So we should be able to just continue this effort. Is that going to burn? Yeah, that's going to burn my robots. Okay, guys, let's not burn up on the fire. Maybe I could make a different, uh, no, if I make a different exit for myself, I don't think that would be wise because then I would, um, trap myself out there having to run through the fire fire to get back in come on guys There's more of you you can't catch me maybe you can catch me there we go we're more than halfway there now it did look like the oh here comes another wave good 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 that's what we want to see more waves are better. I don't know where those are coming from. Oh, there's bases up there. Okay. There's one coming through the woods over there. He shouldn't be able to get very far. Yeah, the laser took care of him. Uh, the base is defended back here. Anyway, so... I'll put another laser over here just in case. Or two that should all be good and the other thing we could do is run a power line back with us when we go back probably will do if I remember all right let's see if we can't get 50 more biters so we can end this episode and or so that we can see what our next mission is going to be next objective is going to I run up this way. Can I get some of these other guys to follow too? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Down this way. See if we can get a nice following this time. Run, 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 little legs. Might need some fish. There we go. 25 to go. Ten to go. All right, ten more biters is all we need. Can I run through the fire and live? I don't know. Oh, good. Some more guys come down to say hi. Oh, that's got to be close. That had to be like five or six. There's another one up there. Come on. Just need a couple more to follow us down. Get through here. Yeah. All right, we'll have to run back through the fire, but it'll be worth it, I think. This should be the last of the biters. Oh, good, the fire went out just in time. That's timing. There we go. 
Thank you for filling all the requirements. We consider all mission objectives have been completed. Would you like to extend your contract? Let's hit tab and find out. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of mission two. And uh, we will continue this with mission three in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.